Okay, uh, today we're going to look at uh, page redirection. Uh, let's start by looking at the programs we've got it so far. We'll just bring up the, the right page. Once I learn to type, and here we are. So this is the home page of our application, and as you can see what we're doing on this page, we're outputting the uh, session ID, just for reference purposes, I know it's there, and we're dynamically outputting from the database our three categories, which are guitars, PA speakers, and keyboards. And if we work through the application, let's try and buy a guitar, uh, second page comes up, this gets all the uh, guitars related to that product category, and puts them out on the page dynamically. Once again, we're putting out the session ID just for reference purposes at this point. We'll try and have a look at uh, a Gibson Les Paul. Notice that this is uh, products ID number three. We we'll click on that, we we'll get the product details up. Um, we click on the Buy Now button. And we come to the Rock Test, uh, Rock Cart Test page. And this is outputted uh, the products ID number, the session ID number, which we're storing and the product quantity. And we can check that this is connected to the database. Uh, it was in through here. Uh, we'll do a quick refresh here. We're looking for entry number 30. And when it kicks itself into action, we'll have a look at TBL cart. And we can see there's our new entry, entry number 30 with the session ID inputted in, product number three, quantity one. So it's all seems to be working okay. Uh, the problem we've got is that this page here is of absolutely no use to our user whatsoever. It's purely there for reference purposes. And if we have a look at the code for this page, we'll see that here's the functional part of it, which connects to the database and writes the values in. And the top part here is simply for reference purposes. So what we can do is strip out some of these echoes. We want to keep this where we're grabbing the product ID and writing it to a local variable, but we don't want to echo the product ID. It serves no purpose other than for, for testing. Uh, similarly, we, we want to keep the session ID, we're passing that to a local variable shopper ID, and we can strip out those two echoes there. Once again, quantity, we've hard-coded to one, and we'll have to come back to that later. But we can strip out the echo in there. So, that's the code that needs to be there to make this page functional. We get the three variables, we pass them to local variables, we set up the data connection, and we write uh, some SQL, which connects to the database and inserts the correct details into the shopping cart and then we close the connection. Now at the moment the page just hangs there. Um, ideally what we want to do is to redirect the user, um, I would say back to the home page of the shopping cart. The standard uh, code for redirecting in PHP looks a bit like this. And here's one that I prepared earlier. So we'll just copy that. We'll come back to the rock test page. And I beg your pardon, we'll come back to the rock cart test page. And we'll sling that code in where we want it to take place, which is there. Ideally, what we want it to do is run the functional part. Once it's run it, redirect to rock test one. Will it work? I hear you ask. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to have a, a test. Here's our home page, I'll just refresh it. Look at guitars, we'll buy an Epiphone. Go to buy now. Whoops, it's not worked. And we can look at the warning, and it says it cannot modify header information. Headers have already been sent. Should have written to the database, uh, but it's not redirected. And the reason is, when we look at the, the code, is that PHP is expecting this to be the very first lines on the page. For this code to function, it's got to be read first, which is no use to us whatsoever. 
because what we want to do is to work through this code, execute this code and then redirect. So it was a plan but it hasn't worked. How do we do it? Well fortunately there's another method and um, we can look at, at this. And this is to use uh, HTML uh, meta tags to carry out the redirection. And again I've got some code here which I've written earlier. We shall take this go back to rock out test and sling this code there. So what I'm doing, I'm echoing out some HTML within my PHP. So what should happen here when it gets when it's run the functional part of the code here, it should hit this echo uh, command and create this line of code which is the meta uh, tag that's using HTML for redirect. Let's see if that works. Let's save it. We'll come back here, click, click, click. Uh, back to page one, refresh page one. We'll buy some speakers this time. We'll buy some Dynacord Delight speakers at £1,250. Click on details. There we are. Click on buy now. And lo and behold, it's redirected. Has it written to the database? Let's have a look. Quick, uh, quick refresh of that. We're looking for entry number 31. Uh, or number 32, I beg your pardon. And there it is. There's our session ID, there's our new entry, there's the product ID, and there's the quantity. So, that seems to be done. Let's quickly go back to our home page. The next stage in this, uh, in this development is to try and display some details of the shopping cart on each page so the user's got some indication that they've actually bought something and we will cover that in the